Go. Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? This is your boy LT Lego Tune. I'm bringing you another video. This one's going to be a little bit different from our COD gameplays or Halo gameplays. This one's actually going to be a tutorial video to help people with low end PCs stream at 720. Now, this is true because I do have a low end PC. Now, this is 2017, so if you're watching in the future, I may have an updated video. But for right now, this is what I stream with. I have a 6 core processor, 3.5 gigahertz. I have a 300, uh, 350 watt power supply, an R7250. It's about $600 when I bought it four years ago. And I still use it today, and it works fine. And I stream every day, pretty much sometimes eight hours a day, sometimes 11, and it works fine at 720. Now, if you want to check it out and see what video. Um, what the video looks like at 720 on a low end PC in these settings, you can go to Lego, um, or not Lego, excuse me, Twitch slash Lego underscore uh, HQ, and you can go watch some of my past videos and see the quality. Or you can just put these settings in and try it out for yourself. Now, like I said, this will work for a laptop, uh, a low end PC, anything like that. Um, I am using OBS to record this, so if the, it looks a little bit kind of blurry, then I do apologize, but you'll, I'm sure you'll be able to see it, and I'm sure you'll be able to work it out. So, first things first, get your streaming, get your streaming thing out of the way, whether you're going to be on Twitch, you're going to be on YouTube, you're going to be on Mixer now, anything like that. Uh, now, this is very important also. Um, you want to make sure that you find which server is going to be close to you with me. I live in the West Coast. Uh, but in Canada, so um, Seattle is the closest server to me because if you pick something away from you, it's going to make this difficult. So make sure you have the right server, okay? That's that. So in order to stream at 720, you need to run a 2500 bit rate, which is right here. 2500 bit rate, which is going to be right here. Now, the thing is, before you do this, go to speedtest.net and test your, test your internet speed. Now, you want a minimum, I would say a minimum of 5 megabytes up. That's just me personally, because you want to be able to use, like I said, 2500 is 720. My upload speed is around um, 70. So, my upload speed is, I'm able to go as high as I really want to on this. Uh, my girlfriend streams at 2500, but we also, we both play and we both stream and we don't have a problem with it. So you want to use a constant bitrate. Uh, so I'll, you want to have the CBR clicked. Now, like this, all depends on your internet speed. Okay, like mine is, like I said, around 80. I usually run either I I run between 3,300 and 4,000 bitrate, but that's because my internet allows me to do that. Now that's like I said, go to speed test on that and try it out and see what your internet is. Now, uh, in for streaming service encoder settings, that's on obviously audio tracks too. That's just the basic things. So, now the key, the key, um, keyframe intervals, it put to two. I don't know why, but it's it, when it's not at two, it doesn't work very well. It, the stream lags a lot. I don't know what it is with Twitch or something like that. But just make sure you put it to. Now, this this is where it comes in, kind of important for the lower end PCs, which a lot of people don't tell you. Um, because I've watched a lot of videos on this, and a lot of people tell you, um, you know, what they think is better for you. But this is me experience. I've been streaming like a year with this PC, or I've had it for four years, been streaming a long time with it. So this right here is how much um, of your CPU you're going to use. Now, before I get into this, this up here encoder, I have X24 or 264, right? My graphics card will not support this, right? I have such an old and crappy graphics card now your graphics card. I can't click it for some reason right now, but Your graphics card will show up down here. So if you have like a GTX uh, 750 Ti you can instead of having it as x264 you can click on your uh, GTX card and it will actually be better for your stream period. I Have such a lower end PC that my graphics card won't even help me when I stream it's just purely CPU. So, uh, excuse me. So, in this case right here, it says CPU usage preset. I equals less CPU. All right. So, me personally, I stream on very fast. 
Now, what this does, okay, let me explain it to you. So, your CPU usage, okay, you want to really keep that between, you know, 30 or lower is good, but sometimes it can run from anything under, I would say, 75% of your CPU being used, it will be fine. Mine with this, now, if you go to ultra fast, it will use almost no CPU, but it also will downscale your video and it will make it pixelated and not look very well. Super fast does the same thing. It will downscale it. Not not when I say downscale, like if you're streaming at 720, it won't take it from 720. It will just make it more pixelated and it would it won't render every pixel. Very fast is where I find is the balance between not losing a lot of quality and still getting that good picture now these down here if you have a better even faster is the same way faster you'll lose less quality and you'll have great picture as well the lower you go down the better your quality will be but if you're watching this video obviously you don't have a very great pc because this is for low-end pc so you want to keep it in between faster very fast super fast just find which one works better for you like i said me personally it's very fast um, profile, I always have it on main. Um, it seems to work out great for me. Uh, true is none, and none of this is clicked. So the audio is about the same. We want to have this at around 48 kilohertz. I leave everything default except my blue snowball mic. I have that on. Now, if you need to do a delay, uh, I could do an OBS tutorial later if I need to, but a delay to sync up your mic stuff that will also be here. Video settings, um, it's currently active because I'm recording with it. I my base canvas for my thing is 1920 by 1080, but I downscale to 720 again because this is streaming with 720 with low end PCs. Um, you want to keep this one. I have okay, so the downscale filter I have it at 32. Now, if you're able to click this, you'll be able to see it will be 16. Now, if you click that, what it will do it was it will lower your PC usage. But when it downscales it from this 1920 by 10, uh, 1080 to 720, it will make it look a little bit crappier. But if you have it at 32, it, you'll get the full downscale. It will it will render everything for you, and it will be fan. You know, it will look better. And then I like I stream at 30 FPS. Now you could stream at 60, but if you stream at 60, you might have to go you know higher here. Which stream 60, it will use a lot of CPU usage. And you'll have to go higher than what you found works best for you and your computer. And if you do that, like I said, you do lose quality. So I just I leave it at 30 uh, here. Now hotkeys, of course, are you know switch scenes, do whatever you want to do, your fancy work and all like that. Advanced settings, I don't really have anything changed in advanced settings besides where I uh, keep everything. So again, a quick recap on this. I uh, don't want to make the video too long, but um, I'll put, you want to bit rate, you want to put whatever your, 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 um, sorry, whatever your internet can handle. So like I said, 2,500 is 720. Okay. Now it's not the best 720, but it is considered 720. Okay. Um, this you want to find, like I said, the, the lower you go on this, um, the better quality you're going to get, the higher you go, the less quality you're going to get, uh, when you're streaming. I find it works on very fast, very well. For me, and like I said, I do have a low end PC. I put it on main. Uh, for the profile, true, I, I don't leave, I don't mess with true at all. I don't leave it, you know, leave it all the same. Like I said, another big important thing is to make sure that you have the the right server to you. If you do all those steps, I promise you, you'll be able to stream with a laptop as well. Okay, but. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I really hope it helped you out and um, if I went too fast just comment down below and I will be more than happy to answer any questions that you guys have. Try these settings out. Let me know how they work for you and if you did learn anything and if it did help you then just you know subscribe to the channel, leave a like and like I said please comment and uh, as always guys I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Peace.